My name is Lena Boscobierne. I am Product and Application Specialist for Chopin Technology. Today, we will see how to run a test using an alveolab, a device from Chopin brand for measuring the rheological characteristics of a bubble of dough during deformation. The alveolab is always composed of two inseparable parts, the kneading machine for dough sample preparation and the alveograph itself, where the dough patty is deformed into a bubble until it ruptures. Additionally, the alveolab comes with all the accessories necessary to manage the dough. The extrusion plate, the steel roller, the cutter, the laminating plate, the resting plates, a knife and a spatula, and a dropper for the oil. It also includes a filling hopper, a brush, and a mini PC which is a central unit dedicated to run the alveolab. Before powering up the device, fill the water tank with salted water at 2.5% if necessary. Turn on the device thanks to the power button. The initialization will last 5 minutes. Finally, turn on the mini PC and the alveolar will be ready to run. In order to run a test, you need to configure the test within the software. Click on Test, then on Start a test. Select your protocol. In this case, I will be demonstrating the standard test at constant hydration. Enter the name of the test. Select a partner and a product and indicate the water content of the flower. Click on Next to see a summary of the configuration of your tests. Click on Start test and follow the indications given by the software. Weight 250 g of flour to an accuracy of plus or minus 0.5 g. Place the upper on top of the mixing bowl and gradually insert the flour into the mixing bowl. When all the parameters have reached their reference values, send the instruction of the test to the device and start the water dosage. Once this dosage has been carried out by the device, position the water injection nozzle on the tank. Start the mixing by pressing the, mix the mixing button. Once the injection is complete, remove the nozzle, clean it and put it back on its support. Allow the dough to form for one minute, then open the cover. Using the plastic spatula provided, reincorporate any flour and dough adhering to the F register and to the corners of the kneading machine. You can repeat this operation two or three times. This step should take less than one minute. Close the cover and knead for six minutes. During this time, all the accessories required for extrusion. When the mixing stops after a total of 8 minutes, open the extrusion aperture by raising the F register and start extruding the dough test pieces. Remove the first centimeter of dough using a knife in a clean downward movement. When the strip of dough has reached sufficient length, cut it and place the piece of dough onto the laminating plate. Sheet the dough pieces using the roller 12 times. Using the cutter, cut a test piece and remove any surplus dough. Place the obtained patty on a resting plate. Transfer the dough piece to the resting chamber for 20 minutes. Repeat this operation with 5 dough pieces in total. You can take benefit of resting time to clean the kneader. Remove the flange, the remaining dough, the blade and the F register. Immerse them into water and clean them carefully. Use a damp cloth to clean the mixing bowl. Once the mixer is clean and dry, you can start another test even if the first test is still ongoing. 28 minutes after the beginning of the kneading, the loading pad is displayed. Oil it and place the first dough piece on it. Put a drop of oil on the dough piece and press the start test button. The loading buffer moves the dough piece up to the plate and blocks it at the test station. Once the dough is in place and crushed, the pad is automatically removed and the device injects air into the dough while measuring the pressure in the bubble. The curve appears on the screen. The test ends when the bubble bursts, automatically detected by the device in real time. The plate loosens and a squeegee unhooks the dough and drops it in the recovery tank. Repeat these operations on the four remaining dough pieces. Proceed by order of extrusion. The results are measured from the average of the five curves obtained. This is called an alveogram. 
If all tests are completed, you can clean the platine using a dry cloth, close the software and switch off the device. I hope this demonstration was useful. For more information about our product, please visit us at www.kpmanalytics.com. Thank you.